Hey everybody, Alina here, a game producer from Meta Publishing, and today we're gonna have a close look at the short demo of an upcoming sci-fi game, The Uncertain Light at the End. The game itself takes place in a near future, past apocalyptic urban setting. Events of the game happen after robots revolted against humans and uh, took over the power. So the build we're playing is a work in progress. Right now it's in a beta stage. It has all the gameplay features, levels and puzzles, but it still lacks um, facial animation. That's why some of the character reactions will be subtitled in orange. Um, the voiceover is not there yet, and most of the body animations will have additional polishing before the release of the game, which is gonna happen pretty soon. Right now, Emily and Pac are on a mission to find some medication for some members of their survivors group. In this game, you can solve puzzles, explore the game world, and uh, make story decisions. The game is developed by a small indie studio, Common Games, uh, based in Russia, and published by Meta Publishing. Okay, we've got the power supply. That might come in handy.
Yeah, looks like the shells are too heavy to lift, so we have to figure out how to get to those mats. And we've got a key card. Yeah, the box is empty. At each level, there are a lot of objects to interact with. You can pick them up and uh, investigate. Actually, this is a great way to explore the environment and the personal stories behind all this stuff. I would say exploration is one of the core experiences of the Uncertain game, a very meditative one. Some of the objects are required to complete the key missions, like this inhaler over here. Let's take it. And it looks like we have some rooms to explore. Looks like we're in a manager's office. Hmm, that's a battery. It might come in handy later, so let's grab it. The poo tree has dried out without the proper care. There's a lot of stuff from another life here in this room. I mean, a life before the Wauba takeover happened. And uh, most of these things are useless now, but it's funny how much did they mean just a few years ago. I wonder what happened to this manager person. Probably they were caught by robots like everybody else. Oh, I think these are the pills for our friend Brian that we were looking for. Uh, 
Unfortunately for us, the computer doesn't work. I like the sticky note over here. It says, breathe in, breathe out, everything is going to be alright. <laughs> yeah, it must have been very helpful. Okay, let's see what we've got here. So the list of calls looks like the latest was in 2023. Oh good, so now we've got another battery. Looks like somebody has been spending some time here solving the Rubik's Cube. And here we have a safe. Oh, turns out someone has been here before us. Yeah, and they decided to use this drugstore as a shelter. Well, judging by that unsolved Rubik's Cube, it didn't turn out well for them. Nobody knows where machines are taking all the people or what they do to them, but apparently they don't have friendly intentions and are basically hunting people down. So, too many questions of the story so far are How did this all happen? Did the machines develop such a profound AI? Was it a malfunction? Or was there someone behind them? And why are they doing this to people? And what exactly is this that they are doing? Oh, look at those prints! Probably those people from the audio tape we just heard.
So after the robots took over, only a bunch of people managed to hide and uh, thus their whole life turned into survival. Some of them formed groups uh, because it's easier to survive together rather than alone. Our group is staying at an improvised shelter in one of the basements and um, they have to constantly be on the move because robots tend to sweep the area regularly. The relations in the group are quite interesting because everybody has a unique personality and uh, sometimes it's not easy to get along. Emily was a landscape designer in the past, but um, her flexibility helped her survive, so she's like a glue to the whole group. And, and then we have Puck, a very kind-hearted, altruistic, but sometimes very naive guy. Also Brian, an elderly person, a former communications manager who is a voice of reason, but very weak physically. Olga, a single mother, caring and very protective of her child. Matthew, a cocky and arrogant man who's constantly trying to prove that he's the best possible leader here. Alex, um, a tough middle-aged man constantly complaining about everything and like Matthew fighting for um, the leader position. And um, his wife Claire, who's trying to smooth out the problems of Alex's behavior. Okay, so there must be some mats that we're looking for and we'll have to power up the shelves. Luckily, we have already picked up some berries. So now we need to find the last one. This thing here is our charging station for robots. You might have already seen this in the certain last quiet day, the first part of the story that revolves around an engineering robot RT uh, who seems to be very curious about the long extinct human race, or so it seems. The part we are playing right now is not a direct sequel, but rather a separate story interconnected in a peculiar way with RT's story. That's all I'm gonna tell at the moment, because I don't want to spoil the story for you. Okay, so here's the last battery we need. Let's check if we can get anything from this era car right here. Nope, but we can try to find the key to it. And uh, since now we have the battery, let's try to power up the shelves. Uh-oh, looks like we triggered the alarm system. So 
So here you should figure out the perfect moment to get past the security lasers. There are a lot of quick time events like this in the game. Now this side has been scanned and the lasers will turn on on the other side. Nice, so we got a pack of pills. Gotcha. Here's the key from the safe in the break room. This is one of the numerous puzzles you can find in the game. Here you need to place numbers in circles so that um, their sum would equal the number in the triangle. And if you're doing it right, it will turn green. There are now two similar puzzles in the uncertain. They're not too complex, but not too easy either. Here we go. And now we have a key to the car in the back. Nice.
I like the idea that you can effortlessly stick a thing this big to your back. The future is here. So, we've got almost all the medicine we needed. The last one is under the shelf over there. And now, having the gravity jack, we should be able to lift it up. Yeah, it didn't go as planned, and the noise will most likely attract somebody. Let's take a risk and help our body puck here. There will be some choice variability in the game. Some of these options are designed purely for roleplaying, and some will have impact on the story. they are off. Thanks for watching everybody. If you like the game, make sure to wishlist it on Steam and stay tuned for the updates. Cheers! <laughs>